again, um, the difference between cluttering and hoarding. Um, cluttering is, there's, there's like, according to the Institute of Challenging Disorganization, of which I'm a subscriber and have studied, there are five levels of clutter to hoarding. It's called a clutter hoarding scale because it goes from one, which is clutter, through to level five, which is uh, the highest level of hoarding. And this is just, uh, you, you probably can't read it that well. In the chat, I'm going to write the website. So you can go to the website. You can go to clutter hoarding scale and you can print it from there. You can save it from there. You can do a self-evaluation of what level are you at in terms of uh, the clutter hoarding scale. And if you ever watch the show uh, Hoarders, typically those are level five, where you have to wear the hazmat suit and everything like that. But you will see that there's a range. You know, for example, collecting, uh, basically collecting is you have things that you want, you present it to show, you take pride in your collection. Uh, hoarding is more, you have things you can't get rid of, perhaps you compulsively acquire, everything can have the same level of value, whether it's a, a China dish that you have had in your family for a while, or in a, a stack of styrofoam uh, containers of food that was delivered to you, it can all have the same value to the person who hoards, not to the other person. But again, I do a whole workshop on hoarding, on uh, sharing and talking about how to best to approach a person who hoards to help them, how I work with a task force to resolve a hoarding situation. But for the purposes of this, the difference between cluttering and hoarding, cluttering, you let, uh, cluttering is level one to five. You might have some clothes uh, hanging over the back of your chair in your bedroom. Oh, gee, I'll just hang it up. That's clutter. Hoarding, you won't let people in your house and you haven't for years. So in in uh in brief that's what it is